Hey guys, this is Chad and uh, Jesus British Raptor person. <laughs> and uh, we're playing uh, Blood Forge and we're doing uh, Inventarium Maximum Achievement for 10 Gamer Score. It's a collectible guide, guys. It's Now, Dan, our, not Dan, your Brit, uh, Raptor Jesus. Uh, yes. You gotta collect all the health and mana upgrades. I really thought when I got this game is that like uh, people were gonna get it easily because it's like they're not normally like, out of the, the way. But then I watched some like YouTube videos and Let's Plays. Everyone was missing them, so I was like, right. well, I guess we need." What is what is, is this? Is Bloodforge, right? Yes. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I've never played it. It's, oh, it's a hack and slash. Oh, it's very. I was gonna say it sounds a lot like it's about just killing things and harvesting souls. You, you need to, uh, yeah. You, when you kill stuff, you get blood. Yummy, Ooh, and then you like, use the blood to get upgrades and yummy stuff and magic and and hack and slash. Lots of hack and slash. My favorite lots type of, of game. Lots of death and uh, well, it sounds like it's for the younger audience. Uh, <coughs> Whoa! If, what are you? Uh, huh? I'm not saying that I, I want to kill. Are you kids saying or gore is for the younger saying, audience? <laughs> I'm just saying that, like you know, nowadays society has has been driven down into the dumps, and that they're probably you know hacking and slashing each other out there. I, I think you're probably a little mistaken. I think the younger audience would probably like more like Sesame Street, not Blood Forge. <laughs> oh god, this seems okay, a little violent. Right. I don't I'm know not how saying it is I hate there kids or anything. Britain, you man. just called me Jesus. You called me Jesus, and now I'm talking about like violence and kids. So, I mean, this is probably not good for you know people that like Jesus. Eagle Raptor Jesus Brit thing. hybrid man. Eagle Raptor Jesus, same thing. Uh, yes, <laughs> I don't know. I think. Wow. Are you sorry, everyone who's religious? Uh... <laughs> no one watches this who's religious. <laughs> uh, so, collectibles. No, ignore the menu part. Do? I didn't do that. <laughs> what do they do? These collectibles uh, make you better. You, well, if you see the health upgrade, it increases your health, and if you see the mana upgrade, it increases your mana. As why it's called that. Did you know oh. that? Oh, uh, I kind of the corrupting got recorded first time I did that. But uh, seriously, it's it's right here on this platform. D d just I'm just gonna count it. So yeah, it looks like a very ominous platform. It seems like the sort of thing where you would find a collectible. I uh, no, yeah, I'm lying. No, it's really there. Seriously, I'm not lying. It is. <laughs> People aren't gonna be able to take you seriously if you keep saying that you're lying. It's not my fault. I got corrupted. Blame blame life. It, it slapped me right in the face, and I was all sad. Well, it's on. It's on an altar like that one was. Exactly. How are people missing these. I, Some of them are just like part of like walking through a level. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's like on this, especially on a, like this level. Oh, the chase is actually the Forsaken Lands, like running it backwards. It's a weird level. Oh right. But uh, yeah, on Forsaken Lands and the chase, it's just sort of like off to the side. Like there's two. There's like multiple paths you can take. It's a little weird if you don't go oh. all, all the way around the map. Not like it's a big map. It's just yeah. It's just like is you it very like around. linear this game? Well, we got the achievements, man. Oh, achievement. 10 gamer score. Hey. In, dude, congratulations on saying that. I don't think I could. Can you drink? I mean, I'm dyslexic, so I can't really read very well. It's invent some max. Jesus can't read.